Okie doke, well here I am, back with the next part, uh, quite tired to be honest with you, I had a bit of a week but uh, I'm, I'm looking at this again because I have no doubt a very good friend of mine has probably already caught up with all of this, which is the reason why I'm doing it in the first place, however all you lucky puppies uh, will be able to continue with us. So, I'm not sure at this moment, as I've said before, whether or not I actually like what I've already done. Does it matter? Because all colours and stitches can be changed at any given moment. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, because this is something that uh, I looked at and thought, poof, when I when I revisited it, is I am bringing this up very much nice and big because uh, I should have cut off this green uh, stitching that I did here on this outside line rather than let it, it I, I went wrong there somehow. Well, I, do, I wasn't thinking. So, okay, I need to, on the resequence bar now, pick up that. You see, you see the black lines around it. So I picked up this um, piece that I was going to use. And I am now going up to reshape. Now, I'm going to go in. Whoop. Lost it. Bring it down so that you can see it, yeah? Bring it over, over, and reshape. I'm going to take it off a true view, which makes it more clear. Can you see now, I've taken it off a true view, so this is just, you know, incidental uh, stitching. You can see with, within what I did, how it works yeah but i'm more concerned with the fact that i overstep this line so what i need to do is that one i'm gonna use my keyboard and delete okay and that one i use my keyboard and delete then using that square off and this square off, I'm going to bring him in line, yeah? Now, mm, I actually need to move that a pickle tiny bit so it was in the centre of my line. I'm going to put true view back on, so now you can see, and I'm also going to put select back on. Now I'm going to zoom out. So now, can you see how I reshaped the edge of that? Because it wasn't actually, because this is the line of the bed. So that tiny little triangle there should be uh, the background fabric because this should have ended at the side of the bed. So I've just done that okay all with me so far i noticed that tonight when i was looking at it more closely i thought Shh, i shouldn't i shouldn't have um done that little corner over that was too much yeah as you go so we're just revisiting that for a moment now Let's come out a little bit and think, well, what do we want to do next? That's solid fabric, that's a pillowcase, with, solid pillowcase with embroidery. This is the best bed with embroidery. This is the bottom of the bed with embroidery over the top. Again, as I say, everything is subject to uh, being refined before we get anywhere else. So I'm just bringing a little girl up. I'm looking at her, and as per usual, uh, what have we got? Right. 
in this case, we have her leg under the dress and we have her hand under an arm. So that's what I'm looking at next. Everything else is on top of that figure after we've done the bed. So, okay, let's address her foot. Uh, I know that this works, should work across MBX and Hatch, that if this is another new shortcut for you, if I press B on my keyboard, B, it's changed, it will change my, uh, yeah, I've still got plus and minus, so I can highlight something, and it brings that really big. So you press B and use your mouse to cover what you need to do, and that really brings it up nice and big for you, as a little shortcut. Now, uh, in previous in the, the last uh, somebody see we did, she had pink legs, didn't she? Well, flesh tone legs. Well, I, I am going to work with the same uh, criteria. So, beige grey. I'm just going to work through my colours. No, that was probably right. So, if I use number 26, these are the set I've got for the moment. So I'm going to click on beige grey, uh, which has changed it over here to a flesh tone. Then I'm going to go up to applique, open applique, click applique, and I'm just going to go over 120, Yep, that's everything I wanted before, which I'm quite happy to work with again now. And uh, in the same vein, we're all set up, so I will start here and right click, left click, left click, right click, left click, left click, left click, left click, left click. Yeah, it, I'm waiting on my computer now because I seem to have it seems to have lost its mojo. So I am just left clicking it around to the top where I get there and press enter. So now I've got my flesh tone on that. Okay. Come out and go, well, the next thing that I want that is flesh tone, which is under her arm. Again, I can press B on my keyboard. That brings me up a plus and a minus thing and say, yeah, that's what I want. So that's bringing that up uh, nice and big for me using B and uh, highlighting what I want to do. And I'm going to start here this time. I'm still on flesh colour, still in digitise applique. So I'm going to start here. and work around. Hermit. I go, yeah, I've done that. Okay, now I can, like, come out and say, well, yeah, I've done that. Uh, the next thing that I want to do I can't make decisions now, which I'm not. I look at it and it's going to be a dress. Well, uh, let me think. Uh, the last time I did a dress, it was blue, wasn't it? So, mm, not happy about that. So let's do it to a colour. What can I make a dress this time? Uh, for the sake of it. Ah, oh, 
I'm going to do her dress this time in a, violet, in a, a pale violet. I changed it to pale violet. I'm still on the size of the UK. Uh, over here it's not changed my settings. That's brilliant. So now I'm using my wheel to bring her up nice and big. And I can start here. And I am um, just ooh, ooh, backspace. Didn't want to do that. Another left, then a right, and um, left in down the curve. Ooh, backspace. That didn't work well for me. Uh, right on the corner and lefting. And obviously, I'm going across the top. <gasps> Can you see how I went wrong there? I am. Um, well, not doing too well, but I'm left clicking and then right clicking at the curve at the corner. So follow this lovely curve right back up under her arm. These are the top so I can hit enter. Now I got a nice swelling. It was kind of a lavender colour. I'm going to do her actual dress. That's going to be laid down as fabric all the way around. Uh, what have I got? I've got a, a foot is underneath the dress, a hand is underneath the arm. Uh, so what colour should her arm be? Well, actually, I want to, this time, I want her arm, and I'm going to start here, to be the same colour as her dress, as if it's the sleeve of her dress. There are a few ways I could have dealt with this, but this is where I'm going at the moment. As to what else we can learn as we go along. So now she's got a lavender dress and a lavender arm, but pink uh, flesh tone hand and foot. That's what I wanted. Uh, what else do I want to do? Let's have a little look. Uh, whew. If she's got a lavender dress, what colour would I like her hat? I want to do it kind of... Uh, oh, I did yellow last time. I'm going to do yellow again. No, I'm not going to do it this time. I'm going to pick something like, um, mm, pink, no, no, no. Looky, 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 what could I use? Or, ooh. I'm going to do it in, let me just, Look at what I got. No, wrong way. I kind of want to do it a jade. Can I find a jade colour? Peacock green. Yeah. It's a jade colour as far as I'm concerned. Right, so this time I'm going to do a hat. What else forgot to do? After I've done her hat, I need to do the teddy bear. So now, bring it up nice and big. Oh, it's nearly 300%. More than 300%. That's brilliant for me. Because we know, even though as large as we bring it up, the program will work with us. So I start here. I'm trying to keep central to the line with my left clicks. Because these are all curves. Always change the colour when you finished. I got something new I want to show you with this. I knew that's where it started. So I'm just going to hit enter. Alright, so that's like 
a jade hat yeah and we have got a very simple it's jade right so we've got a very simple um, line stitch to follow but uh, because I, because I I don't want to do a, a, a simple stitch on this, I am going to pick jade. What goes with jade? Let me just think. What goes with jade? <sighs> yeah, probably I'm going to go with white on jade. That's changed my colour to white. I'm not just trying to pick anymore. Now I'm going to digitize it as a line, so it's going to be an open line, open shape, open line, single run, triple run, sculpture run, uh, back stitch, stem stitch, zigzag, whatever we've done. Motif, I'm going to go with motif again, and uh, I'll just move myself out of the way a moment while I open up our mo this motif patterns of what I want. But I want something to be a little bit uh, nice along a hat. And I got some scroll lines here. Mm -hmm. I like them. Uh, go back up and have a look at what I did add. They're all quite involved. Uh, I can't get rid of that. I click off it. Uh, whoops. And escape because I seem to be attached to it. That was black work I'm going to come down now to M gallery and again open them up and look at them you know we, there's so many things within the program alone uh, let alone from what I programmed in from what I actually wanted at the time uh, you know so yeah I've come down and I've looked at it and I'm like, mm -mm. what do I want? This time I'm going for Design 21. Now that's pretty sick. It's a pretty sick crossover uh, satin stitch. I, I've got no idea, never used it before. Uh, so I gonna try it if I don't like it well, I'll move it right I'm coming back over here so that I can go back I've lost it right no bring it back up uh, I really want to uh, emphasize this to myself so I'm bringing it up I'm using white which is not apparent to me because I've got a white background but it will become apparent to me because this is going to be a teal hat, okay? So now I'm using this as my uh, outline open shape stitch. not where I thought it was going to be, was it? So, phew, that's huge. I just can move myself out of the way while I go back and go, ooh, ooh, width, height, space, well, spacing wasn't too bad, but width and height, ooh, absolutely awful. So, I'm going to go, oh, yeah, they're locked. So, if I move one, the other is going to go. So as it was 7.1, if I put um, 300, that's half of it, right? Oh, well, I, my bad, did not collect it up. So if I put point 0.3, oh, well, that's changed things. Uh, I need to change the space into three as well. Oh, now I got a better one, haven't I? 
it's below my height. Why is it below? Why is it below my line? I would rather it be on my line than below it. But why? So why is that? Height is facing the three. Okay. Uh, again, I well, it is picked up. So I, I think to myself, well, no, apart from being three, perhaps uh, 0.25. That's made it smaller. And I can make two. Five. Oh, bad move. Don't do that. Uh, point two five on the spacing. Now that's not so bad. Now let me let me just come out. Let me just go back in. I seem to have bits missing here, which I don't think I should have. So I think it needs to be smaller. So I'm going to go to point one two five, and oh, so that these are locked. So that's fine, so it's facing one, two, five as well. There, no, no, there. If I bring it really large and looking at it, if I come back out, yeah, no, she's got a nice little chain stitch. Now that suits me, and that is in white. I'm remembering if, it, well, I can show you uh, to help you out because I know that's teal, right? So I can click off of everything I've just done and go just just to show you so that you don't get lost in the moment. Um, pick up, let me see, a lovely hat and say, well, hang on a moment, a plique style uh, colour. You know I work in colours. So it was, oh, I've got to look at them. It was a teal. That's teal. Oh, I'll do. Okay. Now, if I fill in a hat, and this is why, yeah, people say, well, would you fill it in? Because, you know, you can do whatever you like. Yes, I can. But when I fill it in, do you see how that shows me how the white will look on teal? Yeah. So, no, of course you don't need to fill things in, but if you if you do use the colour to fill th to uh, fill things in, then then you can see what you're stitching, and I'll, I'll bring that up bigger again. Yeah, yeah. Then I can see what my stitching will look like on top of this teal hat. Okay. So I've just done that, so that I got more visualisation and more of an ideal, will that work or won't it work? And I'm like, yay, actually, that works for me. But having done the teal on her hat, which I like, now, now, I'm looking at this, because you've got to take an overall view, haven't you? and I'm not so keen on the green. So now I'm highlighting the green and I'm saying, actually, uh, I'm going through my colours that I've already picked. Yay! Yay! I'm quite liking that teal. Yeah? And if I like the teal, then I'm going to pick up, use it, oh, I use control. My bad, escape. 
control and picking up those three and saying what well, actually I like that teal to match in with a bedspread okay so now I've got a teal hat teal bed yeah and and everything is always evolving as you work through it okay it's not a problem helps you along the way and the last thing that i want to do on this picture is teddy bear right i am not going to applique the teddy bear i really 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 want to uh digitize a teddy bear so I'm going back to my original line and I'm going to use black change the black I'll change the black and I go to digitize digitize and the first thing I'm going to do now I'm going to change the order of this but the first thing I'm going to do while I can see it is I'm going to do the eyes So I am going to do uh, circle, oval, okay. I am going to really bring this up so you can see I've got it really, really look at all these cross stitches here, no problem. But you see how I can see that this is hugely, I'm now at 1000%, yeah? But now I'm digitizing a circle, I start in the middle, move to the outside, click, make it the circles that I want, and click again. Then hit enter. Uh, 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 undo. I did in the wrong stitch. Naturally, I did in the wrong stitch. I'm so sorry. It should have been on fill and it should have been satin. That was my mistake. So, yeah, circle, fill, satin. I was on the wrong thing. Start again in the middle. Bring it out to cover. Click again. Open up the circle to be in a circle. Click and enter. There we go. Well, this is how it's going to go because it's tiny. It, they are tiny. Same thing. Bring it out. Hit it again. Make a circle, a circle, hit it again, hit enter, okay? So if I come back to, well, nearly 100%, you see how tiny they are, but when I bring it right back in, oh, I can't even find it now. So hit naught, get back to where we were. So now I'll hit B, and then emphasize this part, see how it, now it's where I want it to be. So I just put, they're not circles, but that's the best the machine can do as circles. Okay, staying on the black, I am now going to do a uh, digitize open shape and I am going to use a stem stitch this time. Now, stem stitch, you have quite a few facilities with, but I'm just going to use a stem stitch as it is at the moment and I'm just going to follow it around in our usual manner hit enter Ooh. that's really bad um, I'm going to move myself and say ooh let me see wits oh. come down pick it up wits Nope. Spacing. Nope. No. Nope. That's not working for me. So I'm going to take that stem stitch and I'm going to change it to back stitch. Now can you see what's happened? Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to come out, click off it, look at it as a whole. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. And sometimes you could pick the wrong stitch 
and then think, oh, well, that actually is the right stitch. Now, okay, I'm going to put myself back over there because now I want to do the teddy bear. Now, the teddy bear I want to do in, I think, dark brown. I'm looking for a nice... Mm, not sure. Let's get back up, get back up. Well... That's a dark brown. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that. But remembering, when you come to stitch out on your actual machine, you may pick a different colour anyway. It picks something more appropriate. But I'm gonna use that dark brown for now. We just change over here in this corner, and I am gonna get digitise a uh, close shape because it is closed. Uh, I want it to be a fill. I come out with a fill. And I'm going to ask it to be a tatami because I feel that's going to help me. I'm bringing it up bigger by using my wheel. So I got a nice big outline to follow. Yeah. Remembering we're covering a load of stuff and because I'm doing this last, it's going to cover up his face, but I'm going to resequence it so the face goes down last. Okay, but I did the face first, so I can see the outline to the face first. Okay, I'm going to start here. And again, in exactly the same way as we've always done, just follow the outline around him back to the beginning so I can hit enter. Right. See? Uh, let's bring him out. So now I've got a nice brown bear. All his facial features are hidden because he was the last thing that I've laid down in my order of stitching. Now I'm not worried about that because I can always move it. But mm, I, I, I quite like the dark brown but that is not the uh, that's not that's not a texture that I want to put in. So I'm going to open up the tatami stitches as we have done before. And I'm going to look at it and I may. Oh, I need to pick him up on my bar so we know what we're talking about. We'll do that again. Pick up my stitches and I say, well, yeah. See, that's more of a woven bear. Yeah? Is it what I want? Not sure. Open the stitches again and go, uh, maybe this one. Mm, too angled for me. I want him to look. Too dense for me. I want him to look. No. I want him to. With the tummy, you have to. Well, open we knew that was any better, was it? I looking at things. Of, mm, that's, that's too regular. I want him to be a nice. I can't remember which side. Here, uh, see, that's that's more fuzzy wuzzy, right? You see, now I brought it up a little bit bigger. Uh, moving me along so I can get him into my view. That's more fuzzy wuzzy, wasn't it? So I'm now on 38. 
to Tommy 38, yeah? Uh, if I highlight him, spacing 16 lengths, that, all right? Oh, I, I don't really know what I want, uh, but I know I can alter it to please me. So I can say, well, if I alter this, Ah, uh, now, see, what I've noticed now is I'm producing two new little gaps. So, let's go back, because we started at 17, right? So now, maybe, I want to change Ooh! The lens, because he's still, like, fuzzy but getting a little smoother nah nah and I'll be funny and everybody has their own idea of what they like and how they like it but if I just bring that back out let me see if I go to 100% and I bring that well, see that's 100% is what it's going to stitch out like. And that is a better kind of texture that I want. I'm now going to push naught to bring him up to full screen. And now I'm going to go back in. That's a better texture of what I want. So whatever you pick, as I said to you before, you try and pick the texture that you want and then enhance it to how you really want it to be. Now, as you can see at the moment, this texture is working on an angle like this. Okay. I like it. I do like it. And I might say, well, I don't want to change it. But I do want it still highlighted so I can. And so I've got to reshape. As I said to you before, when you bring up your reshape, you've got your angle. And do you see how everything is following that line across at 15 degrees? Yeah. So if I change it now, 44 degrees. Oh, now look. Let's come out and look at him again. Yeah. Now, I'm on reshape. But I'm going to change that stitch angle to 44 degrees. I feel I've made it smoother. You may not agree. I'm going to select it. Yeah. And come out and come back in at, at no and look at it. Yeah. It's changed the angle of texture. And actually, that looks to me at this distance has been a bit more furry than it was just now. Again, everything is entirely your own preference of what pleases you at the end of the day but that pleases me i like it so i'm going to keep that uh just put myself back you know well no i need to stay over here because i got black 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 and then brown but oh what was that white i got no idea what that was but however i need to move that teddy bear up before the black click off it and now you can see his facial features are on top of let me get in closer his facial features are now on top of the brown because i've sewn the brown i changed the sequence so i've sewn the brown before i start stitching the black yeah And you may think, well, that's that's not as good as it could be. Well, you could you could pick them up, hold shift, so you've got them all, and uh, maybe you want to change that to white, yeah. Oh, now look, it's facial features are white. Do I want that? Hmm. To be honest with you, no, I don't. <laughs> Even though. Uh, it's not as significant 
I'm still going to go back, old shift, take up these three and put it back to black because, uh, generally speaking, I don't know any teddy bears that have white features. So I want the black features on him. That's, that's what I want, okay? Uh, right, now, let's look at it. What else do I want? I've done the bed head. That and that is corresponding. I got purple here, I got brown there, brown there, brown there. And I look here and um, pinky pinky there, right? Uh, a teddy bear which is nicely made and feels furry to me. Um, and I think that's what I want. Uh, but before uh, I'm going to, oh, I haven't saved this for ages, so I'm just going to go and save her. Right. Okay. There's something else I want to show you now, which I've not shown you before, but I'm hoping that you're open to uh, learning another step. Okay then, well, since we last uh, spoke, I've had the opportunity to revisit my little girl and uh, there are a few things now I want to show you, yeah? As I said to you, you're going to learn a few more techniques. I This looks disjointed to me, so I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to bring that up to big size, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is, it is as I want it, uh, so I'll just go back out, and when I go back out it looks disjointed, but that's just how the, the way that the screen reports it, okay? Now you'll notice that I, I filled in her lilac dress, uh, her hands, her feet, her hat, and this, that, and the other, and the heart, and I filled in uh, the bedstead. I've also, <coughs> as you can see, changed the colour of the teddy bear. I wasn't happy with him being such a dark brown because I couldn't see his facial features. And as I've said to you, all I've done is change the colour. Uh, everything we did before is exactly the same, but I have just done a, f a few more things in the background uh, while I was uh, off air, okay? But these are the new techniques I want to show you. And uh, if I go up now, see this hand, if I click on that, it brings up the hand here on my resequence bar. And if I right click on it, I can say hide, hide selected, yeah? Now, so it's there, but it's not there because I told it to go away. So as you can see, uh, this satin uh, bar, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm really not so worried about the applique stitch because it's one stitch every now and again. But I am concerned that this applique bar is going to cause a lump under my um, stitch out. So in in this particular um, <clears throat> scenario, if I click on her hand, yeah. I can right click on it in the resequence and hide, yeah? Hide selected, so her hand goes away. We know it's still there, but her hand has gone away. Then we can highlight the, what I'm concerned about now is this bumpy stitching that's gonna go under her hand. We can go up to reshape, and I'm gonna make this nice and big, so that we can come back to this as reshape. And you see, Oh, no, that's the top. One minute, wrong bit. <laughs> Be on my keyboard and bring up the bit I actually want there, nice and big, which is... Uh, I'm just going to select it and reshape. So now you can see, I don't want this bumpy bit under her uh, hand. So I, I am going to just, you see this, this round node, which is a curved node, keeping it in line, I'm going to just bring it back. And then I'm going to take the square and put it right there. No, a little bit further because I want it, yeah. 
So I, it's only that much that is going to be under her hand. Okay. I'm going back to select and I'm going to come out so you can see what I've done. Yeah. And then I'm going to right click on the hand duplique and say unhide all so it's back over the top. But now my applique is not going under her hand. Yeah. Now, there's a couple more things that we can do. Uh, if we, if I, uh, using control, I'm going to click on the dress and click on the foot, yeah? And I can already see I've already done this. Hang on. And, and say hide. If I click on one of them and say hide selected. No. My bad. Hide an idol I'd selected yeah so oh, and do uh, an idol so they're all back uh, I've already done it there so where, where could I do it that would help me. Okay, so if I pick the top one, which is her arm, and then holding down control, pick up her dress, okay, I can then go to uh, remove overlaps and hit enter. And if I go to True View now, going up along, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the overlapping part is now, which was a dress has now not actually got stitches on it. Let's go back to True View and I can show you this by uh, it, everything seems to have moved a little bit I don't know why but um, if I get, now go back uh, to the normal thing if I just pick up uh, her dress Uh, and go well if you you have to bear with me but I've done this a, a few times now uh, you can see that her dress is uh, nicely um, blanket stitched but when it's under something under something under something there's only the outline there's no stitches Again, she comes down here and she has all her true stitchings, but again, uh, under the teddy bear, let me go take true view off. Under the teddy bear, you see the first blanket stitch starts here. So that is how we would do, uh, and the first one starts there. So we've now, knocked out any over stitching so it it gives the blanket stitch uh, a more true view um, I think I think actually I'm gonna put uh, true view back on bring her up and get get rid of some of these I don't need to design information etc and go back to naught, bring her up full screen. So basically now, uh, the, the the most important thing that I wanted to do was to reduce that uh, satin stitch so it wasn't bumpy under her hand, yeah? Um, and I cut out some of the stitching that's under her arm. Uh, we're going to revisit this. I really feel like we should revisit this and this is now ready in my mind to go. So the last thing that I ever do is uh, put my hoop back on. So I'm visualising my hoop. Now the one I'm using here is my largest hoop. So I'm going to click on the hoop 
and it tell me what it is and I'm gonna go well no I don't need that actually I can probably no I can't get it in that one maybe I can come out and I can get it in the eight inch hoop yeah it's gonna fit in there so I don't need that huge hoop this time because this is although I'm gonna be doing it on the same size background uh, I don't really need it this big and obviously I can go back up to our original picture and click on it and hit D to disappear it so now my artwork has disappeared so I'm just left with my own work and what I want uh, and I'm ready to go um, I'm going to just save that there because I think that's about as much as I want to do uh, and I'm ready to write that now uh, to my um, USB stick and ready to go in the machine and I've saved it okay so this is sunbonnet bed for me <laughs> 